Well, yesterday, I caught up with the latest Home Assistant live stream. What about Grace? Now, this is finally getting to a drag and drop type Home Assistant dashboard. So I've loaded it up and let's see what it's all about. So in order to play around with these new drag and drop dashboards, you need to be on the 2024.3 beta release. So if we go to our Home Assistant, I've already updated to the latest release and I go along here and I want to edit my dashboard. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add a new dashboard and I'm gonna scroll down here. Masonry is our default one, but I'm gonna to go to this new one, which is experimental and it's called the sections view. So here we go, we're going to save this and create a new one. All right, now you'll see it comes up here with an unnamed section. Now, currently it's limited to which types of things you can put into your dashboard. The first one is buttons. So I'm gonna go along here and I'm gonna select a button um, and the button I'm going to look for is one of my Shelly devices. Oh, we'll have to get rid of that. There we go. Let's select one of our Shelly's over here, which is running. There we go. So we'll add that Shelly and we will give that a name. We'll just call that um, bedroom light. So there we go. We'll save that. All right. So we've got our first one. Next thing, we'll add another button. So we'll go and we'll add another one of my Shelly's here. So let's scroll down and find another Shelly. So there we go. Uh, we'll save that and we will give this one another name. So we'll go here and we'll call this lounge. Help if I spell correctly. Lounge light. Okay. So there we go. We've got two lights. Now watch this. You can basically put your button over here. You can do that and drag and drop. Hey presto. Isn't that amazing? We finally got drag and drop. So that's my first section. We can give this uh, section a name. Let's call this a lights, okay. All right, so that's our first section. We'll create another section along here and let us call this one, um, let's call this climate, for example. Now, the other way you can do this, before I do this, what you can do, you don't have to only add the devices from here. We can actually go, so let's just save this for now. There we go, you can see those are working quite happily there. But we can also go along to our devices and settings, um, and we can go down here, for example, oh, that's probably not a great one. Let's go along to, for example, our, one of our ESP home devices, okay. So let's select this guy over here. All right, so here's a group of sensors. So this is from a smart plug. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go add dashboard. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to name, there's my new dashboard down the bottom there. So I'm gonna select that one. I haven't given it a name, that's why it's blank. So I will just go next. And you'll see there now it's given us a view. So we'll go add to dashboard. So let's go and have a look back at what that's done. So unnamed view, let us give this view a name. All right, so we will just call this a view. We'll just call it Grace because this is our new drag and drop that we're playing around with. All right, so now we've got this. We'll just rename this. This is, a, um, this is actually, this one over here is my heat recovery ventilation system so we'll just save that there all right so we've got two now watch this this is really cool you can not only move um items between in in an individual one of these sections but you can actually move it between sections as well isn't that awesome and that will basically move it around and stick it in there all right now the next thing we can do let's go along and let us add a sensor so let's say we want to add a graph for example, and we can go along here and let us select something. There's a, oh, that temperature sensor is not available. My system, let's find one that is humidity. There we go. All right, so we've got a sensor there. Let's say we want another type of um, 
component. Now, the other thing that we can put into here, we can do entities, we can do grids. Um, let's go along here and let us add a curtain. All right, so let's save that in there. So there we go. As you can see, we'll give this section a name. Let's call this bedroom, for example. Okay, so now we've got a couple of things. Now, what you can do now is you can drag these around. You can move this guy around here. And if we save that, look at it. Pretty amazing, isn't it? All up and running. We can, as usual, go along and we can select our little graphs over there. All right. And turn our lights on and things. Let's go back to edit mode. Now, currently, this is only available for buttons and for sensors. It is not available for everything. However, I've actually been playing this and I was able to add some of the other components into here. So let's go here and let's say, for example, I want to add a map. So there we go. We'll save my local map. And there we go. It is actually working. So let's see if we move this map around. Yeah, you see, so that, oh, there we go. It's even worked. So let's just save that again. And there we go. So even though these, this is still an experimental uh, system, it is working with other components within the system. So look at how cool of that. Let's just go here and fiddle around a little bit more. So in our bedroom, let's try and add some other devices here. Let us add a light, for example, and see what happens. Right, let's go here, save that. Um, and we've got the light that's coming there. Um, we can drag that around and move it. So this is pretty awesome, even though these aren't actually supposed to be up and running. Now, let's really try something interesting out. Let us add a one of my mushroom, send, uh, mushroom components down here. Let's add a lock card from Mushroom. See what happens. Oh my goodness, there we go. It's even adding lock cards. There we go, it's locking my car. Amazing. So this is, I'm really impressed with what the guys have done here. This is just amazing. One thing that I did try earlier, I'll show you, does go a bit pear-shaped, but it is to be expected. Um, I'm gonna add in a plotly graph. This is something new that I've been playing with. And I've got a video about this. If you add this in, you will see that that's not showing quite properly. If we go back to Plotly, you'll see this is what these graphs are looking like. So obviously, these, these, uh, this is a custom. First of all, it's a hex integration, this graph. And yeah, so you can't really expect it to be working. But it is still there. I can effectively play around with it. Okay, it's not really. Oh, okay, there we go. It is actually... Yeah, so these little things are out a little bit, but overall, amazing drag and drop functionality at last. Let us know what you think, guys. Please play around with it. I'm really excited to hear what your thoughts are on this, and I'll see you again soon. Have a great week. Bye for now.